Okay, so this is Derek Waller, and today is Sunday the 11th, and I'm here at the ECM meeting, part two. I'm here with... David Firth. And who are you with, David? Um, I'm the collection manager for the uh, U.S. National Collection uh, at the Smithsonian. All right, so for those who don't know, what is ECM? Well, its name is pretty descriptive, Entomology Collections Network. Um, and it's really all about uh, entomology collections. There's nearly, really never been much of a forum at ESA for that. Um, there was the Systematics Resources uh, Committee way back. Um, but it's, it's a way of uh, people that deal with insect collections and related organisms to get together and talk about common interests and problems and issues. And what keeps you coming back to these ECM meetings time after time? Well, in fact, it is a way of networking about collections, uh, finding out who's doing what, uh, learning new, about new techniques or new uh, materials, because now you see we have sponsor that, sponsors that um, make drawers and trays and things like that. But, and there's been various sponsors like that that have showed up at the meetings. Um, but it's basically a way of, of finding out who's doing what about collections and um, kind of networking, just like it's... So, in your opinion, do we see members represent a large number of orders of insects? Do they study a, a broad range, or, or do you find there's a, a skew towards one or the other? At the ECN meetings? Yes, at the ECN meetings specifically. No, actually, that's one of the nice things about ECN. You have people working in all groups here. Uh, yes, there's a Coleoptera Society meeting, and there's a Heteroptera Society meeting, and all those are satellite meetings at ESA, except for Lepidopterus, but they're all here, including Lepidopterus. So you really have a complete cross-section, including even people working on arachnids and things like that. So it's anybody who's dealing with collections of any kind of um, insects and, and relatives. So that's, that's, the, that's the beauty point of it, too. And what types of ESA members might, encourage, might you encourage to attend the ECM meetings? Well, again, people who have responsibilities for collections, not necessarily taxonomists or systematists, but uh, especially at universities, a lot of junior professors uh, get tasked with taking care of whatever collections exist, even teaching collections. And some of those people have experience in collections and some don't. So this is kind of a place to find out best practices for dealing with collections. So, of course, all the people who work on systematics and taxonomy, but also anybody who has any connections with collections, including other government agencies um, who may have collections, National Park Service, Fish and Wildlife Service, Nature Centers, Anybody who has to deal with collections, especially if they don't have the background, this is the place to learn and to network with people. And could you briefly explain why you think entomological collections are so important? Well, they really are an archive of natural history. They basically document uh, various points in time um, of what organisms were there. And with insects being so diverse, it's a much better... Uh, a finer network of, of natural history than any other group of organisms. And, um, so um, it's, it's just a way to uh, learn about the most diverse things on Earth. And uh, the collections document that. And there will be all, once they're uh, databased, and that's the big discussion these days of how do we do this, how do we uh, share data. Um, once all the collections are, are databased and we share that information, the questions we can ask, whether it's climate change or invasive species or whatever, is going to be unbelievable. We can't even fathom, really, the kind of information that's buried in collections. And it's historical, so it goes back to places which don't exist anymore. Right there. And last thing, you look over at the camera and you say, see you in Austin. See you in Austin. <laughs> Thank you very much.